me ka sey ya ma mpani adodan kwa kufuado chief justice for fro ya ya pao no no waso afene mo din se din tam se wodo me ye ebekko ya nim se de atentene ni djuma no etie enti ma mpani ene ni din komo no so na nim nsem ye nko ni nkotiebi there is a need to increase the budget of the judiciary to allow us room to expand our infrastructure in the automation and digitalization agenda because undoubtedly the efficiency of court processes and administration is assured with more deliberate use of technology. There is a need to increase our budget to make learning, library, and operational resources available to all judges and staff in every corner of Ghana in order to enhance the speed with which both judicial and administrative decisions are made and communicated to stakeholders. There is a need for the judiciary to make itself accountable by increasing transparency in the process and output of our judgments and decisions through, through real-time publications of decisions, especially when it comes to decisions on land ownership and other areas of law that affect the economy and social stability of the country. There is a need to, and to harness the attention of external stakeholders in the justice delivery re relay for improving in excellence in their own services in order that they do not compromise the quality of justice. These external stakeholders include auctioneers, valuers, surveyors, bailiff services, land commission, bankers, and other registries for assets, which invariably become relevant in the crosshairs of litigation. As Chief Justice, therefore, I wish to express my determination to relentlessly seek the support of the legislature in matters of the budget of the judiciary and the support of both the executive and legislature for accelerated infrastructure in technology and for innovative models of doing business with technology. The expansion of electronically assessed library services will require support. An increase in the percentage returned to the judicial service from our internally generated funds will greatly help to accelerate the work that needs to be done. The raising of facilities to create world-class centers of judicial learning and exhibition of historical accounts around the development of justice systems will be a target for revenue creation. The production of manuals, practice directions, and resources to assist litigants in our courts will not only increase the efficiency of support services, but also reduce untoward abuse of administration, administrative and judicial discretion while raising financial resources for the judiciary. Equally important is the close listening ear of government to the financial needs of the judiciary and judicial service staff. And I crave all these facilities to assure the smooth acceleration of our services to the nation. I also crave the support of all stakeholders in justice delivery so that we can build together, build faster, and build stronger. Your Excellency, the statutory duties of the Chief Justice stretch beyond the administration of justice to include oversight of legal learning as Chair of the General Legal Council and the Board of Legal Education. The development of democracy has placed greater attention on the learning of law. I stretch a humble hand to the bar institutions of legal learning, the legislature, and all stakeholders to assist with interventions for raising standards of excellence in the training of lawyers. For the danger of bad lawyering lies not only in losses for those represented, but also in decreased values in the nation's economy. In assuring of quality legal learning, we can only win together. I close these remarks with deep appreciation for the nationwide goodwill support and prayers I enjoyed during the period of my nomination and approval to this high office. I particularly thank the kings and chiefs and communities of Ghana who expressed delight to see me serve this nation in this role. I thank my family and friends, near and far, who cheered with every step, friends in the law who encouraged me in the journey, and beloved church leaders who held my hand in prayer. Last and most deeply, I thank Almighty God who has made today a reality through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. May God bless our homeland, Ghana, and continue to make our nation great and strong. Thank you very much.
בטח.